Double firing rib cell French Krugel, please. It's Sunday night at Swenson's in Akron, and the energy is amplified. The enthusiasm is ramped up. Hey there, miss. All right, here we go. We couldn't be more thrilled that the king has returned to his throne. The sign out front says it all. Welcome home, LeBron. And he knows he's welcome here anytime he wants. We just hook him up with all the Akron love we can give him. Down the street, there's much love for LeBron, too. I'm happy he's coming back. Camarage Hill cracks a big smile. The 14-year-old is a huge LeBron fan and has rooted for him all along, even when he left for Miami. I was happy. <laughs> He got to go and win championships. So. That's how Adam Revez feels too. We accepted it. We want, you know, what's best for him. And at the time that we feel that really was so. But he did what he had to do down in South Beach and he can take his talents back up here to the north. No matter where he went, I'm okay with it. It's a business decision. I'm a LeBron James fan. Tony Sutton is an Akron police officer who patrols the west side, the area where LeBron grew up. He says the mood here has never wavered. So he's from Akron, so he's one of ours. So we're going to support him wherever he goes. Marquise Flynn is such a LeBron supporter that he says he would have been okay if his idol stayed in Miami to win one more championship. But uh, we would love to welcome him back. That love is reverberating across this entire town. We just want to embrace our prodigal son and just welcome back to the 330.